this is angel food. This is right here. This is your. This is. This is your. Uh, this is what you're supposed to make alliance with. This is your teammate. This is your partner. Perfectly. You know, that's that's your partner. But let's get into this video. Now let me check on something real quick. I'm gonna see what we got to going on. Your sister was on his phone. So, all right. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Y'all know the Illuminati, right? All right. Y'all know the Illuminati. Y'all know the Freemasons. The Illuminati and the Freemasons, they got y'all tricked. They really got y'all fooled. They got y'all to the point where y'all worship the devil while they sit back and worship the real God. And God even know what's going on. So I'm going to leave y'all on that one. So if the Illuminati... That's why I tell y'all, y'all really have to look up what does black and white floors mean. I got to keep reminding y'all just in case one of y'all miss what I'm saying. But I'm trying to tell y'all how it is. Black and white floors. Look that up. Look that up. Like I said, understand what's going on around you. Like. They got you worshiping a dollar bill. They took all the money, get to enjoy it. And then they get to worship the real God and make y'all worship the devil. So God looking at y'all like, damn, these niggas ain't smart enough to understand that these motherfuckers got them worshiping up the devil. So they really in trouble. That's how y'all have to look at that shit. Why y'all can't see it like that? So let's 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 move on. Now, your soul is actually a drug. One thing I learned about life, when I started to do things and I started to see other people's lives change, that's when I realized, wow, we are on a drug. Our soul is a drug that your soul is a drug that God took. Just put it like that. Your, your soul is a drug that God took. You know why? Because look, I looked at myself the other day. I'm like, wow, I'm at a swimming pool. And when I look at my surroundings, you got to think, even when you have kids, you are allowing that radio signal to save and lock and that's all that happens when regular signal happen because you think you had sex with a girl you never had sex with no girl no girl never had sex with you and no girls ever had sex unless they had kids because that's proven that in this holographic universe that you lock something in so that's what y'all need to understand y'all need to understand where i'm going when I say that, but when I sit here and I tell y'all what's going on, I'm not just talking shit. Bring y'all to your favorite tree. So it's like the Masons got y'all worshiping the devil and they worshiping up the real God. Look up Freemasons. That's why they got a G right there. They just simply said it like this is where we worshiping God at. Y'all got to understand that, man. Like, it's just crazy. Like, it's the same thing. I'm going to touch down on possessions and multiple synchronicities. Now, me, myself, as I started making these videos, I noticed God... I see how God worked. I've been sore because I had many, many lives that I was here before. And the thing about God, I told you, he's mean. He could be mean because if you do something bad in your past life, you're going to come into this life 
with something different. Like I told you, everything that's everything that's holding you down is a greatness. Y'all have to understand that. You have to listen to Ralph Smart. You have to. You can't deny that he's living the best regular human life. You can't deny it. But y'all like to carry briefcases and suits and all of this bullshit. Y'all think y'all like the motherfuckers down there in Wall Street. Y'all not like the people in Wall Street. Like I told you, everything is already rigged. Like the Supreme Court and shit like that. Like once they make a decision, the decision is what they fuck they said it was. So I don't want to hear shit about Dr. Sabi no more. Only thing I want to hear is when you say something positive about how that milkshake that he made was great. How that coconut alkaline fucking smoothie was good. That's all I want to hear. I don't want to hear shit negative about Dr. Sabi. I don't. Because he was never negative. All he did was sit back and taught you guys what the fuck was really going on. Damn. They still eating good in Africa. Y'all think they not. <laughs> Y'all think they not. They eating good ass. They, some of them is eating meat now because they lost. Some of them is eating meat like y'all because like they got some of the cities in Africa ready, domesticated. Some of Africa got better subway systems than y'all. See, y'all keep thinking Africa is poor. Y'all forgot. That's where all the world started at. That's where all the money was. But... That's why you don't fuck with Africa, because Africa, they know how to do magic, and they will curse your ass you don't fuck with black people, because the, the God that's over them. And that's what I'm saying, like, black people and white people are the same people. We all lived on the equator, line. Until y'all got technology, and then y'all want to fucking all roam off and go places. Once y'all know how to keep a, a, a building warm, it was over. After y'all learned how to keep a building warm, it was over. It was over. Like, but they, and like, y'all, them niggas got McDonald's and all of that shit over there. But a lot of people right there on that seat, on that side, it's a battle. It's a battle between regular tradition and living like y'all over here. Everybody want to be like y'all. Y'all Americans? Everybody in the fucking world want to be like y'all. So feel good. Why y'all don't feel good about that? Shit. Like I said, so let's move on to those temples in Egypt because when you open those, you open those and curses came out. See shit in the background in the spiritual world, they come out and they get you. And that's why if you go look it up, go look at how many people went in the temples and the pyramids of Egypt. And see, this is why y'all don't understand the Freemasons and all that. They do the same thing they did in Egypt. They make temples. Y'all got to look up what a temple is, a temple. And if the temple has a black and white floor, you must know that that is a Freemason temple. And the Freemasons really don't even like the Illuminati. Y'all gotta understand there's a difference between the Freemasons, Masonry, and Mason Masonry. I got the baby in the crib. Yeah, she yeah, mm -hmm. told you how she be dumping me off. She talking about going to get her nails done. Why you just take her? Get her some shit from the store. I get her something from the store. I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. I don't got no key, no nothing. I don't got no um, key, no. Right, she don't even show me no shit. Uh, you gonna be right back. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all gotta understand that's all different. And once they opened up the 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 caskets, like if I was there, I would have told y'all what y'all would have saw. Y'all wanna know what y'all wanna know what was flying out that casket? When do y'all wanna know? What was flying out the casket? Why these dumbass scientists was digging in the Egyptians' graves? Let me tell you what kind of motherfucking demons they left inside the casket for when they leave, just in case y'all open the shit. That's Pandora box right there. 
That's a that's where mythology, they stole all their shit from Egyptians. They stole all their shit from Egyptians, and Egyptians got most of their shit from the Mayans. That's what y'all don't understand. See, the Mayans, see, South America and Africa, if you go look at it on the map, you will now notice that. On the map, they're girlfriend and boyfriend, like two puzzle pieces, like one big heart that got broken in half. That's what Africa and South America fucking look like. So don't tell me when an angel come to tell you that right now we all living backwards. Y'all motherfuckers should be living like Aladdin right now. Like, but even the people that was poor on Aladdin wasn't poor. This is what y'all, they had a city that everybody just walked around in and they all took care of each other. The bums is the bums, but whatever, make sure he eat because they were still spiritual at that point. We're not spiritual no more. We a little bum lay on the floor and starve till that motherfucker turn into a bone. So don't tell me we spiritual. And I'm blaming myself from when I was lost too. I robbed, I ain't even gonna lie. When I was lost, I was the type of motherfucker that'd still give a bum money because he was in my subconscious. I always knew that everybody was me. I'm not no different than y'all. Y'all can know anything I know. I told you about the Akashic Records. And y'all don't understand. Back to the fucking temple in Egypt. It's basically all it was that was flying out. It was very bright green, purple, orange, yellow. Like a big ass skull came out and broke down into what you look like beehives like it, it looked it, it was like a skull that came out and it looked like a beehive and when that thing broke guess what it turned into billions of curses that's now spinning and just flying loose in this whole world just imagine somebody opening something <clears throat> And you and you and you next to the beach and you just see billions and billions and billions of purple little magical butterfly looking things. Look at the dogs, y'all. Hey. Hey. <laughs> they came to say hi real quick. Yeah, so, um, nah, but yeah, imagine, imagine that y'all went inside the Egyptian, um, temple and then just imagine this, 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 this magical dust just coming out and that's all curses. Just, just, you on the beach and you just watching all of these orbs just flying out of these caskets, just going like from the top of a castle, just flying out these caskets over there. Yeah, by Egypt. Yeah, over there. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So if the white scientists, and when I say white, like I said, when I say white, I'm talking about the Illuminati. I'm not talking about these regular white people y'all see. Those is our family. All, all people was the same color at one point. We all lived on the equator line until y'all got technology. So like I said, imagine that happening. And then, and then you can't stop it. It's just going and going and going. And wow, I just seen a mango... That butterfly was like mango and a melon color. That that was wow. That was crazy. I must have got some money coming or something. But y'all y'all forgot. Y'all don't know how spiritual you could be. You don't have to have. You don't have to live in this torture or this hell that we living in right now. Like everybody don't have to live the same. There's people out there that don't stress, but there's people that's rich that's ready to blow their own head off that's it it's plain and simple it's not about money y'all see y'all keep thinking it's about money it's not about money that's not that's a fucking fairy tale in y'all world y'all want to keep sitting here thinking it's about money y'all think it's about money that's how you end up lost that's how you end up in another universe on money because you went so hard that god said oh does he want to be money right all right let's make this motherfucker a dollar bill then next time so everybody could just use him
Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get y'all don't get the curses and the spells that's put on us already. It's over with. Y'all Christians and Catholics, y'all gotta understand, yeah, it's okay if you're a certain age to be do your religion, but if you are one of these chosen children that's supposed to be here to come change this world, you gotta act on it. You can't sit here. God is not gonna when you die, God is not gonna sit here and say, Oh, he he did this, he did that. If you didn't do it and you didn't act on it. It don't matter what you was thinking because that's the spiritual realm. As soon as you start thinking, you're in the spiritual realm. Y'all forget because y'all don't, y'all don't got to the point where y'all so programmed with iPhone, Apple iPhone. Y'all don't take a minute to sit here and think that, hold up. I could take one minute out my day and go get some fresh air, chill with some motherfucking plants. But now, to break that down, like I said about the Egyptian temples, I just want to tell y'all all of those orbs that was flying out, purple, green, orange, yellow, all of those orbs was basically old spirits that protects the gods. Like, if y'all open up the casket, flip it open, kick the fucking lid right off the top, y'all in his grave stepping on his legs and shit. Y'all don't y'all y'all forgot. Though th they was royal. Y'all y'all forgot. You know why y'all forgot? Cause y'all so busy trying to be royal. Y'all don't forgot about everybody else. Y'all stingy. This is why I try to tell y'all all of those orbs that was flying off the top of that castle at the beach. Hmm, that's why y'all fucking acting crazy right now on this earth. That's why y'all want Wendy's. That's why y'all want everything that y'all do. That's regular life shit. That's why y'all do it. Because they're right there. And then the ultimate weapon that would separate you all was race. And then the, the, the third one, that was money. Money, money, money guaranteed that you will be a slave. That's why when you carry around money in your pocket, just take a minute to read it. Just read it. It tells you right on the dollar bill that it's a fucking note. It's a note that you got in your pocket when you need to be reminded that you a slave. And people be mad at you when you got to tell them what's really going on in this world. Because like I said about the temples in India, the temples in Egypt, do y'all know how much money that went missing? Do y'all know how much jewels and jewelry and nigga they had one diamond y'all ever watched the movie titanic because they have one diamond a blue sapphire that has a curse on it go look up it online don't just listen to what i'm saying you could go check this shit so why would it be one piece of jewelry y'all buy shit for millions of dollars like rappers and shit y'all buy million shit for millions of dollars but y'all don't understand that the shit y'all got is cheap compared to the shit that's sitting in the museum right now in Germany. They got stuff that's from Africa that's sitting in Germany. They got shit from Africa that's sitting in Russia. Why do y'all got our shit? I'm not being racist. I just want to say because of one stone... It could be a fucking pearl. It could be one stone, a sapphire, an emerald, and a ruby. It could be one round ball piece of gold. Like, so at the end of the day, y'all got to understand what's going on. Those jewelries and jewels, they cost billions. One ruby, one emerald, one gold nugget y'all gotta go look up go look up golden design eggs that's sitting around the world that was made by the egyptians and the gods they are worth billions 